What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be fooling around with a title called Full Fathom. I've been following the development on this game on Twitter for a couple of years now. And they finally got a playable demo. If you're curious about what this game is, it's a weird mashup between like Subnautica in that you're like a submarine maintenance guy that's trying to make it as far as possible inside of an ocean that actively wants you dead. So a bit of a survival game, bit of a submarine maintenance simulator. I've been very excited about this one, so let's go ahead and crack right on into it. If after watching this, you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. You can check that out there. On top of that, you can also get links to my Twitch stream, my Discord, all that kind of fun stuff down in the description as well. So let's go on board. What's up, little robot guy? How we, it says yes and no. Okay. I guess he's just going to do his thing up there. Uh, we start out on the submarine, and one thing about this game is that it basically gives you no explanation as to what you are doing, the controls, or anything else. You just got to kind of figure it out. I sort of like that immersive learning, but some people might not. But for right now, we need to grab our hammer. We need to start gathering stuff up from all over the ship and kind of getting it to a centralized point where it's all accessible very, very quickly. So we got some tomato paste right there. We got ourselves some ice cream. Let's be a good steward and we'll just like shut everything back on up. But welcome to the submarine. You're going to need to learn the layout of this place. Things are going to go wrong and we are going to have to fix them. There's just no way around it. Right now we're inside the hallway. Uh, there is a mess hall which leads into a switch room, I think. So what is this right here? So the switch room is over there. Maybe we're facing like the opposite direction right now. We might be. It kind of seems that way. So this might be backwards. I don't know, because it says the switch room is right here, but on there it's off to our left. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look around and sort of see what we've got available. So we've got a storage room over here. Let's check the storage room real fast and see what goodies are laying around. Looks like we got some scrap right there. The game does have kind of like a real inventory where you've got to sort things around and put them where they go. Was that, is that supposed to come out of there? I saw steam come out of that pipe right there. Is that like a load bearing pipe? Is that a pipe that we need to keep living? Because we're really deep underneath the ocean right now. So I'd prefer that all of my pipes be working the way they're supposed to be working. And what do we have in here? We've got a flare. We've got a compressed air. We've got nada. And over here we've got a sensor array and another compressed air. Okay, the compressed air is for refilling our oxygen tanks when we're outside the sub. That's right, you can go on the outside of the sub if you want through this big, scary, rusty door over here. By default, the game starts out with a very thick CRT filter. I highly recommend just disabling it and turning it off. I can't stand it. I don't know. All the CRT filters and pixel filters and stuff that games are using lately are just absolutely the worst, and so I just instantaneously disable all of them. I don't find them to be immersive. I don't feel like they add to gameplay, so I do appreciate the fact that they gave us the opportunity to turn everything off. What is this right here? Engage a turbine, sensor array, and an empty fuel capsule. Load fuel. Okay, and so that injects it on into the engine. Gotcha. I kind of need to, like, learn where everything's at. I was playing the game a little bit before this, but I didn't really wander around the sub too much. And so I don't know exactly what facilities are going to be available to us. We also have a collection of bilge pumps that we can turn on. So I'm guessing these areas can flood or we can be attacked by something. Just given the prevalence of pulp va uh, pump valves and things that are all over the place, might be worth it to go outside the ship and just kind of, like, see what's around. Let's go outside for a second. Our oxygen is in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. However, oh look, dude, there's little fishies around. I don't know if they want to be friends or not, but it looks like the world has been submerged in some respect or another. We don't have that much oxygen, so like I don't want to get too far away from the ship if I can help it. But it might be worth looking around at some of these points of interest just to see if there's anything laying around. I do have a flashlight available too. I don't really see anything right now, but there's a little house right there. I'm a little bit terrified about getting lost out here and like losing my way back to the ship. So it might be a good idea for us to maybe just learn to navigate and orientate ourselves. That fish has awful big teeth. I don't think he's going to be a friend. Uh, with inside facilities, there's also outside facilities that the robot has told me about on board. 
Uh, he said something about, like, there's manual pumps and things that I can activate just in case I need them and we can't find any fuel. Did I pick up all my oxygen canisters? I did. Okay, so the oxygen canisters are already inside of here. We'll put the tomato soup right there for the moment. We'll put the ice cream over there, too. I don't know if we're going to have to use it at any time or place. Repair hammer can go on the shelf. Everything feels pretty good with inventory management once you get used to it. But initially, there's going to be a little bit of disorientation and figuring out how it works. At least there was for me, dragging things in and out of the suitcase. It looks like directly in front of the ship. Oh, there are buildings over here. Okay, let's go see if we can get inside these houses over here and find anything good. We're not, like, that deep right now. We're sort of deep. We could be deeper. Uh, let's turn the flashlight on real quick. And we'll see if this place has anything useful for us. Door opens, which is good. We've got anemones over... I'm sorry, we got urchins over here. Anemones all over the place. Couch cushions. Let's not lose track of our O2 meter, which is at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. We're at 70% O2 right now. There's a slot machine over here. What does a slot machine do? Can I pull the lever on it? What is that? Oxygen? Ooh, it fills up my oxygen tank. Nice. A ruined jerry can. I guess I'll take that. Does that work as much as I need it to work? Okay, so at least we know bare minimum there's oxygen in the basement. Let's swing that door on out right there, and we'll use the basement as kind of like a base for us to kind of scavenge this area and figure out what's around, like what kind of goodies we can get up inside of our inventory. Anything in here? There's a safe. Does it open? Okay, it seems like maybe it would be too easy, but there is food down here, which I think we're probably going to need. Oxygen tanks everywhere, so I think they're giving me a freebie right now inside this area and making it, like, extra simple. I don't know how this works. So it looks like we have to scroll it till we find the number that we're looking for. But the scrolling is not really that easy. And I'm not exactly sure how it works. All right. Well, let's refill our oxygen real quick and we'll worry about the safe a little bit later. Doesn't appear to be incredibly pertinent for right now. Anything else inside this place that I can maybe get my grubby little fingers on? We found some food, so that's a nice start. At least it means we won't starve. And we got anything inside these drawers over here? It looks like I can latch onto it, but it's not letting me open or close it. What about this guy over here? Okay, nothing inside of there. It's got amnesia-style controls while you're playing through these areas. And so, you gotta kinda like pull the mouse in order to do the thing that you wanna do. There's a third floor over there. Let me ensure that I have enough oxygen to go up to the third floor, and then we'll worry about it. Okay, up to the third floor. Anything up inside the attic? Hopefully nothing that wants to bite me or harm me, dude. Uh, we've got luxury tomato sauce right there. I'll take it. Tomato sauce is better than no dinner at all. Don't know what that thing is, and I don't want to touch it. It's like a bucket over here. I heard a noise. It didn't sound like a particularly friendly noise either. Mm, nothing in that drawer. Nothing in that drawer either. Is the chair in the way? Is that what's going wrong here? That one will open, but that top one won't open. So either it's locked or we can't get into it at all. What is that? A floppy disk? Okay, let's go ahead and grab the floppy disk. I know what that goes to. There's a navigational computer back on the on the submarine, and it will allow you to plot in coordinates of new points of interest that you can explore just like we're doing right now. And that floppy disk should take us to another one. Let me get a little bit more oxygen over here. Let me get some of that O2 before I go back up into the into the attic one more time. I don't like going in the attic, dude. In real life, my attic is a mess. They've got like, so the previous owner of my house was like a very, very home improvement guy. And he's got like the wildest air conditioning and air circulation set up up there. And so it's very, very difficult to get anything done up in the attic. What do we have here? 
don't even know what I'm looking at right there. Okay, we've got a submersible suit with an oxygen tank. A coin. I wonder what the coin's good for. I guess he didn't make it. So this looks like a treasure chest of some kind. But I don't actually know how to make it work. The lid doesn't come up. And it looks like there's some kind of interactable right there. It's green. But it's not opening. I wonder if the coin goes to the slot machine that's down in the basement. We should probably go look. Or I guess in the garage. Alright, let's go look at the coin machine inside of the garage and see if maybe that's got our next hint for what we should be doing. Got a ruined jerry can. I don't know. Ooh, a fuel capsule. Nice. We need one of those. Sick, dude. Alright, that's exactly what I was looking for. That's the good stuff. Anything else around here? A pipe wrench, but I don't have room for it. Is the pipe wrench actually going to be valuable? I haven't seen anything that requires wrenchinating. Either way, there was oxygen out in the garage. So let's get some oxygen. Okay, well, I mean, we got something out of there. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it looks like we hit at least because we got two sevens. I'm kind of wondering if like a if like a key can fall out of there for that thing upstairs if you hit it right. That's kind of what I'm contemplating. Let me fiddle with it for a couple minutes. Well, I hit on it for a while, and I think one of the icons is a key card, and I think if you get three key cards, it spits out a key card to the thing upstairs. That would be my guess. Anyways, but we're kind of overloaded on loot right now anyways just from this house I don't know what the ruined jerry cans are for but like maybe it'll be helpful The fuel canister will 100% be useful because that's what we needed in order to get things done So let's go ahead and drop things off back inside of our storage And I think we're doing a pretty good job of initial survival It only looks like there's two houses here But we'll figure out the other one the second I'm done unloading and offloading all of my crap because we're kind of overburdened right now all right, I got everything stockpiled back up. Let's go get that other house and just see if there's anything. We oh my god, am I under attack? Well, I think the fish got me, dude. My skin, it's crawling with pins and needles. That can't be good. I guess the fish got me the second that I came out. And my health is going down right now. That's not great. My vision is starting to clear. I guess he's poisonous when he bites you. Okay, well, since he's camping the doorway, then we probably want to get out of here. I think I need to go over here, and let me see if eating food maybe helps out with my health. I don't see anything changing. The 55% in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, I think, is our health. Oh, no, it's ticking slowly upwards right now. So maybe food gives you like a very mild regenerative effect. Either way, we've got a floppy disk. Let's head up to the bridge and I'll show you how controlling the entire submarine sort of works. I figured it out by just like fiddling with it. So down this hall and all the way down. Watch out because you can't see the light in the hallway is what's going to take us to the command center. Inside the command center, we've got our plotting device that allows us to move the submarine and go other places. Uh, we've got a various number of dials and things that let us know every single compartment of the craft's integrity. We've got a fuel gauge over here. Uh, we've got power. We've got all that kind of stuff. So sub integrity, fuel gauge. And uh, we've got the throttle and what it's been set at. I believe this guy is the throttle. And then I don't... Okay, I didn't know what that did, but now I know. Apparently it closes off the bulkheads and basically armors all the windows in case we are under attack by whatever might be out here. Uh, but the first thing we need to do, we got this little floppy disk over here. Let's take the floppy disk. And we'll stick that in there. And what did that do? Did that give us routing information for like 736? Let's try. 
The route has been set. I mean, it looks like we can actively go that way. I don't know if we're going to like a secret level. We're supposed to be going forward to 712, which gets us out of here. But like, where's the use in that if you're not gonna have a little bit of adventure? Let's turn the throttle on, get this thing moving. And as you can see, the sub is on its way. We are underway. I believe is the technical term and if you watch the plotting over here you can see our little submarine moving around too when I start seeing points of interest or anything else that we can maybe interact with I'll cut the throttle I suppose looks like we're there here kill the throttle all right throttle done been killed I think I'm going to have to go outside and look around. I can't really see anything from right here. Those are probably famous last words, but let's go ahead and throw on the dive suit and see what we can find around here. Hopefully not get bit by any more flora or fauna either. That sucks, man. Out we go. Hopefully nothing's door camping us. Well, I don't see any fish. I think I saw something over there. There's a fish right there. I was going to say, dude. I think I see something over here. Is it like a house? It's kind of hard to say. But there's no oxygen in here. We'll have to use one of our canisters. I'm going to try to stay clear of all the fish, too, since apparently they're poisonous and have like a, a fang bite thing that they do. They don't seem to be like aggressive, though. Man, that's quite a long swim to get over here. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Flashlight on. All right, so first things first. Ow, dude, I got poked by a urchin. Oh, I got poked again by a urchin. Oh, my God. The world's most pokiest urchins. I feel nauseous all of a sudden. Yeah, because we probably just got injected with booty poison by some underwater spike thing, dude. Is the layout the same? It looks like the layout might be the same, so there should be oxygen down here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, am I getting better or am I getting worse? I'm at 8% health right now and ticking downwards very, very rapidly. Uh-oh. Am I dead? End of tape. Okay. All right. Yeah, reload the bad boy. Okay, not crazy ideal. All of our stuff is gone. Uh, so I guess when you die, it like voids your inventory or something else like that. I'm not really entirely too sure. Like I said, this is one of those games that they make you like fiddle around with stuff and try to figure out what's going on. But we don't have a repair hammer or anything now, so if the ship springs a leak or anything else like that, that's going to be a, a big problem. I don't know if that's like a demo bug where it just like deletes all your stuff when you die, not only on your person, but also inside of your storage. But from my understanding, the repair hammer is kind of like vital. Did it just take us back to the origin point? If it just took us back to our origin point, then I can just like restart the simulation. So I went back to get our loot back after I restarted the tape, uh, and all of our stuff is back on the ship. But that having been said, uh, the loot is randomized, so you don't know what you're going to get each time you come down in here. So there's a little bit of a randomized vibe to it, too. Like, the stuff that we definitely got the last time is not here this time. And just on a whim, I came over here to see what was up with this house. There was a letter in the post box, and then there's a lock on the door. So I don't know if we get in, like, another way, like there's, like, a hole in the ceiling or something that we can dive through, or if we got to go get the hammer and smash the lock off. i kind of like to try that out. So on my last excursion, trying to reclaim our stuff, I found two motors. I found some scrap metal that I'll just leave on the floor right there. I did find two fuel capsules, though, which is, like, huge. So that should be really, really helpful. We'll just kind of, like, lean those up over here, and hopefully they're not explosive. We've got our floppy disk. I don't really need that right now, but I did want to grab the hammer and see if I could smash my way into that house. Looks like I need my compressed airs too, just in case something goes wrong here. Okay, so back over at the house. Let me see if I can smash this lock off real fast. Equip the hammer real quick. Let me see if this will bust open. Can I break the glass? It doesn't look like it busts open, so maybe I was just following a red herring right there. Or maybe we actively need to have the key in order to get inside the house. I don't know. There was the letter in the post box. I don't know if it's still there. Uh, it is not still there. 
So I probably should have read the letter better. Maybe the letter said where the key was hidden or whatever. I'm going to refill my oxygen. Eh, I think we can make it back to the ship. Never mind. Okay, well, since I got this place picked through, maybe at this point it's a good idea for us to plot a course. Let me turn that off because everything's all shiny. We got a floppy disk right there. Let's put the floppy disk in. We'll go to new places, do some new things. Routing data has been loaded. All right, so we need to route to 738. Cool. Route is locked in. Let's throttle up. And we're off and on our way. I always wanted my own submarine. I feel like I would be great with my own submarine. It's really a shame that life hasn't offered me an opportunity to have my own submarine. Alright, so there's some kind of structure on the come up. Oh yeah, there it is right there. There's some kind of bell tower or something. There's like a belfry over there. Alright, let's throttle down. We are out of UN. Perhaps you should see if Jotmojo have any captain. Okay, that's like not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the lights going out and whatnot were going to be a much worse thing. I've got storage over here. So let's grab a fuel canister or two. And we'll load them up to get the lights back on basic troubleshooting we can figure this out I'm starting to learn the layout of the ship too like I actually know where I'm going now so this is the engine room and fuel loads to there okay fuels inside of there injector well it injected do I have a meter or anything inside of here that tells me how fueled up we are I have questions engage the turbine Yeah, it currently it seems like the engine is off for sure. I don't know how I re-engage the engine. I'm going to have to figure that out. What does that do? What does that say on it? It's interactable. Manual bilges. What is this over here? Does this do anything? No. You would assume that you re-engage the engines through the engine room, but... However I do that is not jumping out at me right now, but like the developers specifically said this game is about It's kind of like tin can if you ever played that game Part of the gameplay is you not knowing what you're doing inside of the sub and figuring it out and becoming You know a dedicated seaman Well, there's extinguish engines Over on the wall here. Oh, for, that's for putting out fires just in case these things catch on fire. Okay All right, fair enough Turn those off. We don't need any water inside the sub. Generally, I think water inside the sub is probably a bad idea. However, I don't see a button or a switch or an actuator or a lever or anything else that turns the engine on. So I came up to the front console to see what might be going on, and we've got a number of flashing lights over here. Did that work? I can't decide if it worked or not. Turbines are blocked. Okay, so after doing that, this is the hard reset right here. The robot said that I've got to go to the switch room and I've got to like reset the breaker maybe. So what is this? What did that do? There's a motor in there. I don't know exactly what it does. It might be how the power is supplied. It looks like there's a breaker box right here hey the lights are back on that's a good start okay I'll take it so maybe this is just like the battery backup power that turns on the red lights either way we've got power back on so we're making progress here back inside the engine compartment hey we're spun up dude okay so you've got to press the two manual resets that are up in the cabin and then you've got to go reset the fuse box too Gotcha. How are we looking on fuel? 
It looks like one canister gives us about half the fuel we need in order to get ourselves back up and topped off. And we do have one extra fuel canister, so like that should be easy enough to fix. Let me go load this thing real quick inside the fuel room so that it's not rattling around inside my inventory. It looks like there's a big bay door over there too, so I'm guessing you're gonna dock with stations or something at some point too. Like, we may not be the only human being down here in the ocean now that the world has been covered with water. All right, that's been injected. We'll throw it in with our empties. Okay, empties are in there. Let's maybe go outside and see what's going on with that steeple, possibly. Hopefully there's nothing out here that's gonna try to murder me. Okay, so where was that steeple at? I'm trying to get a little bit of perspective. So the back of the shit, there it is right there. Okay, let's see what's inside this little church area down here and kind of see what we've got going on. Lamp isn't really gonna help right now because there's too much murky water around us, but I'm digging what they're playing around with here. Like I'm picking up what they're putting down and this is exactly the kind of weird simulator that I enjoy playing. Does this not open? Looks like it might not open. Is there another way? Maybe we'll go in through the steeple itself. Just make sure there's not any like anemones or anything around. They're gonna cut me up. Uh, we've got a something right there. I couldn't read what it said. There's gambling coins right there. What was that thing that I just picked up? Empty fuel canister. Okay. Empty fuel canister and sardines. Gotcha. Part of me is feeling brave enough to go down and see if I can find oxygen inside one of the houses, but the other half of me is like a coward and just wants to go get my oxygen refilled back on up. Is it on the other side of the ship? It's gotta be on the other side of the ship. Let me back in. Our oxygen does not last long. Hopefully that's upgradable in the final version where we can make our tanks bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so let's hit one of these houses then down here and kind of see what we've got going on. I had to disable sticky keys too because you shift so much inside this title. Back door is open. Okay, well, let's have a little look-see then. There is an oxygen canister in here. Let's top up. There's a free fuel canister right there. Watch out for the urchins. Try not to get shanked again. Are those bags interactable? Like those bags of cement? No. Okay. Can I open the garage door? No. Garage door doesn't open. All right, let's top up one more time. And this is just like a little outset garage, I guess. Okay. Don't know what that is. Don't like that. Aw, oh, dude, its eyes are glowing too. I hate it. Okay. I don't know how I feel about any of this. This all seems very risky to my health and safety. Oh, there's a flare inside of there. That's about it though. Anything in the kitchen? Nothing in the kitchen. Can I open the ovens? Oh, I can open up all these things over here, like the cabinets and whatnot? Okay. The dinner plate right there. I can't open that. Is that a note? Oh, it kind of looked like a note for a second. Uh, we got to make a call here. Whether or not I want to keep looking for oxygen canisters inside of here. Or whether or not we just want to accept that we're going to have to consume one of our own. I brought them, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had my oxygen canisters before I started feeling strong. All right, we got, what do we got? That drawer's locked. That drawer's also locked. That one don't seem to want to open either. Okay, so those ones don't open. What's in this little bin over here? Anything good? Nothing in the bin. That one's locked or stuck too. Okay, that one's stuck as well. This house was a giant goose egg, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I can get back to the garage in time, but I'm gonna try. Let's smash through there. Come on, garage, don't let me down. I need your supplementary oxygen supply. All right, we're filled back up. We were sitting on 5%, which is definitely dubious. But this is full fathom. I kind of dig it, dude. I kind of dig it so far. Like, I like what they're going for with the super analog interface. Uh, there's a technical term for that, and I can't remember what it is right now, but there's a technical term in gaming 
for what it's called when you've got like the the big old cl a spear pistol round okay so apparently I do have ways to fight back against the critters of the night out here that are all trying to eat me that doesn't open that doesn't open what about the fridge nothing in the fridge nothing in the cabinets anything in the bathroom Towels, if you're into that. I mean, I feel like we're kind of far gone for towels at this point. I don't think towels are going to be a tremendously useful accessory in this environment. But, you know, just in case you wanted to dry off a little bit, maybe there's a treasure chest up here. Yeah, I'm guessing we need some kind of key card for this or something. I don't know. How about you? You got anything for me? How about a nifty spear gun to go with that bullet that I got? That'd be nice. I take that, but as I was saying, this is full fathom. Uh, obviously, it's just a demo. Obviously, it's very, very early on, but I do like the atmosphere that they're playing around with, and I do like some of the ideas like maintaining the sub and whatnot that they're playing around with. If they made it so that the sub is like upgradable, if they made it so your character is upgradable with the things that you find around, if they made it so like it's got those layers of progression and whatnot as you go through, dude, I could see myself dumping a lot of hours into this so far it doesn't feel like we're in too threatening of waters but I'm guessing that's gonna change as we get further on into the game so far we've been stabbed by every sea urchin known to man and bit by every fish that exists and so oh that one's got a lock on it too okay I can't get in there oh look pink flamingos all right but this is full fathom go check out the demo go give your feedback go let the developers know what you like what you don't like I feel like this is one of those games, though, that's going to scratch an itch for me. A ruined book, eh? No use for a ruined book, I don't think. Those drawers don't open. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. A little bit of a thinker here today that we're playing around with, but I like it. I like it a lot, and so hopefully once we get to the final version, we'll have a lot more polish, a lot more house layouts, a lot more interesting like points of interest and whatnot like obviously we're not that far in yet but those would be the things that I would look for if I was trying to decide whether or not this is one of those games that I wanted to like recommend for you guys for a purchase at the moment it's a free demo so like go kill the weekend will it will you oh I got wounded by what my blood is in the water I wonder if there's creatures that are attracted to the blood in the water too I bet you there are dude uh, I will see you all later thanks for stopping on in and that's about all I got for you Bye, folks.